Hi, I'm Dave Habib, and I'm here to demonstrate Groundwire's Auctions for Salesforce version 3.0. When you install Auctions from the Salesforce App Exchange, you'll get a new application in your application dropdown. When you choose Auctions, you'll get a set of tabs that are related to all the information that you need to track for your auction. So let's go ahead and look at an auction. When you create an auction, we'll automatically create a set of campaigns that help you keep track of all the information you need. So we've got a campaign to keep track of who you've invited and who's attending, who's purchased tickets, and who's donated items to your auctions. So let's go ahead and look at donated items. Donated items are actually stored as opportunities of a record type specific to auctions. And our system keeps track of both the donated goods that you receive as well as the actual items you want to sell. Let's look at the items that you're actually selling. In many cases, what you receive is exactly what you want to auction off. So for example, someone is, let's say, offering up their uh, ski cabin for a weekend, and so that's what you're going to auction off. But other times, you may be bundling stuff. Let's say someone gave you a case of wine, and someone else gave you a bunch of cheese. Well, you may split those apart to create, let's say, uh, a bunch of wine and cheese baskets. So Groundwire Auctions for Salesforce allows you to uh, bundle up the donated goods that you receive into the things that you're actually going to sell. And here we're looking at that wine and cheese basket and you can see it's made up of both uh, a couple bottles of wine and a brick of cheese and the system will automatically keep track of the value of the goods that go into the auction item and tell you what the fair market value is. Now let's look at the auction tickets tab. The auction tickets allow you to see everyone who's purchased tickets for your auction. And if we look at one of these ticket purchases, you'll see that we also show uh, for this uh, person, they purchased five tickets. And so we've got slots for the five guests that they could be inviting and bringing along to the auction. And in this grid, you're able to specify who those people are and keep track of, you know, their status, they've been invited, they've RSVP'd yes or no. Uh, you can keep track of their meal preference, uh, what table they're on, who's their table captain, and later on their bid number and their table number. Now let's look at auction purchases. The auction purchases tab shows you all the opportunities for the actual purchase goods uh, the night of the auction, as well as uh, donations that could be done the night of the auction, like your typical raise your paddle bid. And we've created this nice wizard to make it very quick to do the data entry for uh, your auction goods. So we support uh, entering people by their bid number and entering goods by their item number and being able to quickly enter a bunch of purchases and saving them. So this should make it quick the night of the auction to keep track of uh, the purchases or uh, if you're doing it later uh, afterwards when you're dealing with all the stacks of paper of what occurred at your auction. New to um, auctions version 3.0, we've got tabs now for doing check-in and check-out and these are used the night of the auction. So our check-in tab allows you to look up someone when they come in and we'll see if they already have a ticket or if they've already been assigned to a table. You can update their contact information or enter a new contact if it's someone you don't currently have in your database. You're able to see what table they're assigned to or to assign them to a table. And we also now have integration with payment processors. And we've worked with uh, IATS and Click and Pledge. And uh, so on check-in, you're able to uh, save their credit card information and here we're loading up a payment processor that will display down here and so you could for this contact record their credit card information and we'll validate that it's a, a valid credit card and, and the payment processor will save that information on their server so on the checkout tab you're able to quickly look up someone by their bid number or their name and then display all of their purchases and we know which stage those purchases were done so we know which ones should be paid for now or have already been paid for and then you're able to charge your credit card using the payment processor 
and you're able to refer to the credit card that you already saved uh, at the beginning of the evening right here. The other thing you're able to do is to uh, bring up a receipt, uh, which is a custom PDF we will generate that you can print or save to email them later that shows all of their purchases and uh, the fair market value of those goods. We also allow you from the auction receipts tab to uh, do a PDF of all the guests if you're doing this, let's say, uh, after the auction and you want to print out PDFs for everyone. On the reports tab, you'll see that auctions for Salesforce uh, ships with a set of 13 reports that help you uh, manage the information about your auction. Things like the uh, list of attendees by table captain. Uh, we also have reports that will help you uh, export data so you can create your auction item booklet and let's say the display boards that you need the night of your auction. So that is my quick demonstration of Groundwire Auctions for Salesforce and you can find it on the App Exchange. Thanks a lot.